Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today we are going to try to get through a hair tutorial. Um, one that I have, when I've been doing tutor makeup tutorials, I've had rollers in my hair and many have suggested that I do a tutorial on it and then I posted some Instagram pictures using this same technique. Many wanted to see uh, a tutorial on it. So in order for me to do hair tutorials, you know, menopause is causing me to have these, you know, these nice little sweats that are, I think, on steroids. So I, I tried the other day with a fan higher up over here and it was just too, the hum was too loud. So today I have it below me. It's just a very small fan and I have it on the lowest setting. So hopefully if you're seeing this video, it was successful. But this is the only way I can do a hair tutorial because I, they just don't turn out. So I first wanted to start with, um, I'm looking lovely. <laughs> I just wanted to start first with the products that I primed my hair with. Today I washed my hair with the Moroccan Oil Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner, excuse me. Put a turby towel in my hair to absorb most of the moisture. And then uh, when I took it out, I put in two squirts of my Moroccan Oil, which I focus, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. So I put, I put the oil, focusing it on the lower half and especially on the end part of my hair, okay? It leaves it very shiny, I think. Uh, I then put on, and this is something that I have forgotten about that I haven't talked about in a video in probably a few years, but I continue to use this product. And it is the Professional Sebastian Whipped Cream Light Conditioning Style Whip. And what this does is it, it acts as a mousse, but what it's more designed for is to hold curl. So um, I put that on the bottom half, and I put a pretty good golf ball size in my hair. Of course, if you have left hair, less hair than me or shorter, you would use less. And then I use my Moroccan Oil Root Boost just on the roots to give myself some lift. And then um, we're going to be using my Velcro rollers today. And this is not going to be a complete set because this is what I call my casual fluff, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get started for you. All you will need is about four or five um, Velcro rollers. And you can, I'll put some links to where I can find Velcro rollers. Usually they're through Amazon. And, uh, but you can find these at Sally's, you can find them at Ulta, you can find them anywhere. And if you can find the ones that have the metal in them, they actually work a little bit better than the ones that don't. All of mine have the metal. If you're a professional, you can buy them at Cosmoprof. Okay, so you'll need one really large one and then the next size down, about four. And we are just going to get started. So now what I do is I first just let my hair fall wherever it's going to fall. And then I just take my thumb and I gather up the crown area. And I'm going to take my flat paddle brush and I'm just going to smooth out any little kinks that might be in there. And then I'm going to try to slouch down here so you can really see. Now I'm going to take the roller and I'm going to smooth that hair all the way. So I'm pulling the curler down to smooth all of the hair. I'm going to hold the ends of the hair so they don't kink up and give you little fish hooks. And then as I roll in, because I think a lot of people have problems with uh, Velcro rollers tangling their hair, if you guide your hair with your two thumbs, see how my thumbs are on there? If you continue to guide the hair and push it in, you'll have less hair that falls out to the side because I suspect that's what's getting tangled for most of you. Okay, so now I'm going to use my bobby pin. Yes, I use my teeth. I'm going to just take another section of the hair and I'm going to do the same thing, not too big a section because you want the rollers to work. And I'm going to pull it forward slightly and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to smooth those ends onto the roller, get it going, and then take your thumbs and just continue to push it onto the roller and secure it in there really well. Now I do use the bobby pins because they secure it. My hair will not stay in Velcro rollers without them and I don't get any little marks or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead with the same technique pulling it slightly forward and I'm going to take that hair and I'm going to go ahead and smooth it all the way down onto the ends, hold it, secure it, roll it, and then you can take your fingers to push guide it on, but 
when you're rolling, just use some sort of your, use one of your phalanges to really secure that. All right, and then we'll do the last one. I'm gonna bring the hair forward again, not too much. You don't wanna drag it down like this. You want it to be straight out. Secure those ends and roll them in. Now you shouldn't have much hair left for this one and just roll it back. That is it. That's all there is to this uh, set, okay? And I leave this all long and smooth so that I don't take any of the length and it's not as full as when I want a vavoom look. Telemarketers. Okay, my friends, I was distracted by the phone. Again, a telemarketer. All right, so this is all I do. And this is so that when, if I want, like this is for a more casual look, if I'm wearing like a pair of skinny jeans and we're going out to a smart casual type of place where I don't want my hair to be so va va voom, I want it to have some fullness. I just throw some rollers on the top. Now you could incorporate one more back here, which I'll go ahead and do for the video's purpose. You just comb that hair up and you give it a really good tug. You want this one to be straight up and you're gonna use your largest, which is my blues, and I'm gonna pull it a little bit forward and I'm just going to guide those, root, those ends on and we're just going to go ahead and guide the hair all the way down. When I'm putting my rollers in, I really give them a good firm tug. Now don't go pulling your hair out of your head, your head but I give it firm and when I'm rolling it, I continue to hold that firmness in there. So my rollers are in really, really tight. So the last thing I do is I'm going to take some of the Sebastian reshaper and I like this one. Now the important thing here is you do not spray the first roller because then you're going to have a big hump unless you want a big hump and then you go and you spray that roller. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray the root so that when I take them out of the roller I'll have lift there but I will have the softness of the velcro roller. So I'm going to go ahead and do a tutorial now and we'll be back to show you the end results of the hairstyle. I'll it's going to be a separate tutorial, but I'll have my makeup on when I come back because I'm going to do another tutorial for y'all. Okay? All right. See you soon. All right, my friends, I'm back. I did this makeup look, which will come to you sometime next week, but we are going to take the hair out. And remember, this is for a casual look where you don't want to lose much of your length and you just want it a little full on the top. All right, so we're just going to take the rollers out. And a lot of people say they get tangled when they take their rollers out. If you just, let me scooch down here. If you guide your roller, you won't have that problem because your hand, and if you roll it the way I showed you, when you take it off, your hair is work, your hand will work from underneath and take the hair off of the actual Velcro. So there should be no, you know, pulling or tangling or anything like that, okay? So then we're just gonna take this out. Now, don't mess with it, just leave it be. And what I do, now usually I will just take my hands First of all, I'll just swing my hair a little bit, you know, swing it, swing it, swing it. I really do do that. And then I will just take my hand and I will kind of work it through that stiff hairspray just to separate it down a little bit. And then I just kind of let the hairs fall where they will. And you have a casual, softer look to a hairstyle and you just play with it you know I mean and then I'm gonna take my spray and work with it I don't work with it too much sometimes if I want it off my face I'll spray like this and then I come down and it will stand up and that's all I do that is just a very casual night out hairstyle so I help I hope that this has helped you and remember if your hair is shorter just adjust the size of your velcro rollers of course you're not going to use the largest you want to use something small to give your hair a little bit of wave and if you have longer hair than mine then of course you'll probably have to use more velcro rollers but we're just going for volume here we're not really going for curl so using a medium size or a really large one especially in the crown area to really lift that crown up uh, is what you're going for. Okay? okay, so that is my quick 
tutorial on Velcro roller just for lift in the crown area. Okay. So thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Be happy, healthy, beautiful. And most of all, my friends, lovable. Cause I love you all. Yes, I do. Bisous.